Hello and welcome. Today we're doing two sum two from Leet Code. It's similar to two sum, but here we have the input array, which is already sorted. We are given a one indexed array of integers numbers that is already sorted in non-decreasing order. Find two numbers such that they add up to a specific target number. Let these two numbers be numbers at index one and numbers at index two, where one is less than equal to index one, which is less than index two, which is less than the length of numbers. We want to return the indices of these two numbers added by one as an integer array of length two. So we want to have these be one index, not zero index. And the tests are generated such that there is exactly one solution. We may not use the same element twice. Your solution must use only constant extra space. Okay, so this is two sum, but we have an input that is already sorted and we are guaranteed exactly one solution and we don't want to use any extra space. So we have example one, our numbers input is two, seven, 11, 15, target is nine. We're going to output one and two because the first and second number sum up to nine. We usually would return zero and one, but we want this to be one index. So we just bump the indices up by one. And example two, two, three, four, target is six. We output one and three because two plus four equals six. And example three, target is negative one, but we are guaranteed one solution. So we would return the only two numbers we have, negative one and zero. So we output one and two. We have constraints here. Again, numbers is sorted in a non-decreasing order. All of this is just to say that we have an increasing input and we have exactly one solution. Okay, so we're doing two sum, but the input array is sorted and we don't want to use any extra space. How are we going to do this? Well, first, let's take a look at an example. Okay, say I had the following example, 2, 3, 4, 7, 10, and my target was 11. Now, one way to approach this would be to make all possible pairs of our numbers and see which sums up to 11 and return that pair's corresponding indices. But then we wouldn't be making use of the fact that our input is already sorted. Because our input is sorted, we have the advantage of knowing the relative order of the elements. This allows us to compare the numbers efficiently. So instead, what we're going to do is have two pointers at the beginning and end of our list. So I'm going to have a beginning pointer here and an end pointer here. And I'm going to see what my sum is at those pointers. Right now, it's 12. And I know my target is 11. And so I'm too big. I've overshot. I am greater than my target. And I want to readjust my numbers to be a bit smaller. And I can do that because it's sorted. I can just move the end down. I have the maximum possible number at the end, so I will move that down. And now I have two and seven, which sums up to nine. Now we're too low, right? We want to be higher to get to target. And now we can adjust our beginning pointer up by one. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fine tune up until we find our target. And here three plus seven is 10. It's still too low. So we're going to move this up again. If we're too low, we just move up that beginning pointer up because we will be increasing. And if we're too high, we move and down so we can decrease. And of course, we're guaranteed one solution and we've run out of numbers. So this has to output target, which it does. A four plus seven is target. And we would return the indices. So one, two, three, four, three and four would be our output here. So let's go ahead and code this up and then run through an example. Okay, to code this up, I'm going to start off with my pointer. So I'm going to have my beginning and end pointers. They're going to be zero and length of numbers minus one. So while the two pointers don't meet in the middle, so while beginning is less than end, I want to know what my total is. So my current total is going to be numbers of beginning plus numbers at end. Now, if total equals target, I'm going to just return. So I'm going to return my list of indices. So it's going to be beginning and end, but this needs to be one index. So it's going to be plus one for both. And if I don't return, then I want to see if I'm too big or too less. So if total is greater than target, then I want to move my target to a smaller number, which means I'm going to be bringing my end in. So end minus equals one. Else, if that is not the case, then I do beginning plus equals one. Because now I'm going to bring my beginning up one because I want to increase that target. 
and we're guaranteed a solution so we're always going to hit this so let's go ahead and run this code accepted and we can submit and it is accepted as well. So before leaving, let's just run through a super quick example. Okay, so I'm gonna be using example one over here, two, seven, 11, 15, and target is nine, so like this. And we're just gonna run through our code line by line to see exactly what we're gonna be doing. So first thing, we are initializing beginning and end. So beginning is zero, end is length of numbers minus one, so that is three. So just to visualize this, B is over here and our end pointer is down there. So going into here, while beginning is less than end, which is true, we find the total of our current number. So the total of where the pointers are right now, so that's two plus 15, which is 17. And now we make our checks. Total is not equal to target, so we don't go into this if condition, but it is greater than target. So we're gonna bring end down by one. So we're moving this over here. This is now index two. And we don't go into this else because we went into this if. But we are back into this while loop. Beginning is still less than end. And now what is the total? So two plus 11 is 13. This is still greater than target. So we're gonna bring end down once again. So now it is one over here. And we go back into this while loop. Beginning is still less than end. And now total is two plus seven, which is nine, which is equivalent to target. So we are in this if condition and we return beginning plus one and plus one as a list. So we're gonna be returning one and two as our list, which is exactly what we expect to output. And this solution only made use of constant extra space. We're only keeping track of a beginning and end pointers. So that is of one for space. And for time, we start off at the two ends of our list and we merge in the middle. So we're only going through every element potentially once. So that's gonna be linear O of N for time. If you have any questions at all, let me know down below. And we just went ahead and solved two sum two, which is similar to two sum, but here the input array is sorted. If you like this, leave a comment, give it a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next